Hi, well, I'm really excited to introduce you to Becca Nesbitt. Becca is the Technology Assistive Coordinator mm -hmm. for Tech Owl. And Becca, thank you for being on. Yeah, thank you. So I recently heard about this through a friend and I said, we have to have you on because I feel like there's a lot of people that don't know about this awesome organization, program and services that Tech Owl provides. So let's start with a little bit of what is Tech Owl? Yeah, good question. Mm -hmm. um, Tech Owl is Pennsylvania's Assistive Technology Act program. And that's just kind of a fancy way of saying that um, the government allots every state in the nation a certain amount of money every year to help folks with disabilities by way of adapted equipment or assistive technology. Um, Tech Owl spans the entire state of Pennsylvania. I serve the Pittsburgh region, so seven counties in and around Pittsburgh um, and Allegheny County. And essentially, assistive technology technology is just any device or service that helps somebody with a disability function more independent independently and optimally, I'd say. Right. So your territory also includes Butler County. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, something that I read uh, when I was preparing for this, you know, when I think about technology, I think about, you know, oh, my phone, it makes me easier to talk to my kids. Yeah. And this emphasizes that technology helps the people you serve to have better quality lives. Absolutely. That's such a good point. Sometimes um, technology can help us do tasks um, a little more optimally, but some for some individuals, it actually makes or breaks doing the task at all. Exactly. Um, like so, eating. Absolutely. Speaking. Mm -hmm. Hearing. Yeah. All seeing. of those things. Um, being on the phone or a computer. Yeah. Right. So I would think this is, I, I know your job is super rewarding. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, let's talk about some of, you offer many programs. Yeah. Let's talk <laughs> about some of the programs that Tech Owl offers. So okay. Let's start with the lending library. Yeah, sounds good. So Tech Owl has an assistive technology lending library. Um, and it's like a library, but instead of books, it's assistive tech devices. So um, we have hundreds of items uh, in that program. Pretty much it's things from iPads and laptops to adapted silverware to magnifiers for somebody with vision loss, hearing amplification systems, you name it. So um, the point of that program is to try before you buy. You loan something out for free. Um, you can try up to three things at once. Okay. So if you're looking for like a, a vision magnifier, let's try out a couple types, you know, at once to see which one works best for you. Um, and it really just saves people money because assistive tech can be really expensive. It, absolutely. And mm -hmm. things are advancing so quickly. Quickly. Right. That tomorrow there's going to be something new that's, that's in right. your life. Yeah. yeah, and I and that's why I also think it's super important that another program or service that you offer is they don't want you to be overwhelmed. Yeah, Becca's here to help, and she can work with training you. Such a good point. Yep, that's a big part of my contract. Is um, our philosophy is we don't want to give devices or technology out, and then there be that barrier of somebody having the solution and not really know how to use it or integrate it. Okay. Um, so a large part of what I'm doing week to week is educating folks on how to use the equipment, demonstrating uh, different pieces and kind of comparing and contrasting and just offering that ongoing support. Right, so you can actually like go into like a school. Yeah, right. absolutely. Um, now, school-based personnel, you might have somebody who, like an occupational therapist, might be working with them, or uh, they sometimes have their own assistive tech teams, but pretty much um, I am always going into hospitals and clinics and schools. Um, it's not just for families or individuals with disabilities. It's also for rehab staff and sure. teams that work with folks with disabilities too that I'm educating. And I think it's super important, if we didn't mention it already, this is for all ages, spans the whole lifetime. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that it's not just school-based children. Right. Um, it's for adults. It's for everybody. That's right. Tools across the lifespan is kind across of Across the lifespan. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. And now, but if, let's just say a family's listening to this and they would like to contact you for more information, they'd like to be eligible or try to find out if they're eligible for right. one of these programs. What's the best way to do that? Calling or emailing me. Um, I work for a nonprofit called Community Living and Support Services. It's otherwise known as CLASS, and I am the Tech Owl representative there. Um, so if you give us a call or email, um, I'm the one that would help you with any assistive technology questions or Tech Owl questions. Um, but yeah, I could basically hear your situation and kind of recommend what's the best project or program for you, what does eligibility look like, and if for some reason you're not eligible with us, we kind of explore or funding sources together. Right. Well, you are a wealth of information. <laughs> um, in closing, what other programs would you like to, to highlight about Tech Owl that we haven't covered? Um, probably 
probably just um, a big program is the free phone program. Um, again, that's all of this is for Pennsylvanians. And the point is, uh, if you are having trouble using a phone due to hearing loss, vision loss, maybe mobility challenges in your hands, speech, intellectual disability, lots of things. Um, we have adapted landlines. Okay. Uh, we have like captioned landlines and they all go up to about 50 decibel for like a louder um, communication system. And we also do cell phones. So we're doing a lot of uh, Apple iPhones. We're using Siri for voice control. That way somebody doesn't even have to touch or look at the phone. They can just say, hey, call so-and-so. Mm -hmm. That's really helpful when you have macular degeneration right. or when you're having a hard time toggling through screens for any reason. Uh, well, this is amazing. Tech out. I'm so glad that you're here. Yeah. We appreciate what you are doing. Thank you. And thank you for listening. Thanks. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.